I mean, I don't mind this appearing. It's cute. Are you ready? Are you shocking? Oh. Are you serious? Yes, I am. Oh. <laughs> Let's just start. Let's just choose. <laughs> Then we had to go to PE. You know, PE was one of those places where, but you know, when sometimes you want, you really think that you really want to do something, and then you start doing it, and then you start feeling like, ah, uh, I don't know if medicine is for me. Uh, I don't think I'm coping. I don't think this field is for me. And then they send you to places like PE, and then you get there, and then you learn so much. The one thing that I enjoyed the most about doing family medicine in PE was the fact that they allowed us to be hands on and they treated us like part of the team and they treated us like human beings you know when you matter and then people treat you with the respect that you deserve not to say that when i'm in cape town that doesn't happen but it's just that in cape town they just so many students around and then most of the time you feel like uh you are just part of this big group and then you are unseen and it's very easy for you to fall behind but when you are at other peripheries whereby you are just a small group then you get seen and then you get to do things and then it was then that I really felt like okay that love music is coming back so you know we ended we had to come back to Cape Town did infectious medicine it was a theory block so it was a thing of oh, you know theory blocks are not the cutest of blocks but it was also very nice to learn about uh, how the infection goes and all of those and then much came you know what if I say I love Kids. I really do love babies, but every time I do uh, blogs that have babies in them, I fall sick. So, March started, I did two weeks of neonates, uh, neonates came, <clears throat> but now the one thing about neonates, two days in, I only had diarrhea. And I tell the doctor that I think the babies are making me sick. And then the lady goes, ah, I think maybe you're not washing your hands properly or enough. And I was just like, but I do wash these hands, just the babies make me sick. And funny enough, it's like one of the fields that I feel like I want to go into in future. But now, with everything that's happening, you're like, hmm, do I really want to do something that makes me sick every time I do it or not? But yeah, it was quite fun, it was cute. Uh, that ended, and then I had to do emergency medicine. So we do one week in Kagerbeck, the other week in Kailisha. So, <clears throat> two days in, everything was happening. There was COVID everywhere happening. And then the president was like, <coughs> Uh, I think we need to go on lockdown. The Minister of Higher Education then came and said, uh, I think we should all cease, everything might just stop. So, you know what, everyone went into panic. And you know, like, it was so, <laughs> looking back, everything happened so fast. Everyone was packing and leaving. And I, I remember sitting down and decided, no, I don't think I really want to go home for this in one day of lockdown. Because <clears throat> when looking forward, I thought to myself, what if this lockdown doesn't end after 21 days? Uh, then what happens then? Uh, with the education and everything that's going to happen next, is it going to be a thing of, am I going to be able to study at home? So the younger kids went home and I decided to stay behind. So, you know, the, 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 the decision to stay 
it's quite tricky because then you have to decide and think about a lot of things like is your mental health going to be fine if you are chilling here on your own all the time so all that was happening and <clears throat> everyone was still so unsure are we going to be able to finish the year and all that but you know what it, studying at universities like Stanwash, let's say white universities uh, everything gets done the white kids will always make sure that the university do what they have to do so after 21 days came and gone we started with our online learning guys let's just say you know what you are never too old to learn new things if there's one thing i realized is that you know adapting is what we do we went from traditional learning to online learning and you're like actually it's not so bad initially there were glitches you know when you have to like get used to this something that is foreign that you're not used to and you have to there's so many changes that are happening and then it's a lot but we are doing it everything is happening so there's been a lot of uh, changes that happened to our curriculum as well and funny enough the beginning of the year I decided I wanted to do my elective overseas I spoke to my friends about it and then we we're even looking at bursaries to apply but now with the pandemic and everything happening uh, we'll have to now change our ways and decide to, uh, maybe we will we'll have to do our elective here at home and whew, thinking about that just it's sad especially when you thought you're gonna do something in another country and see how they do their things but just 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 go to show which sometimes in life we over complicate things you can plan and do everything but life will just do its own tricks on you and then it's gonna change everything and then you'll just have to realize that sometimes you can do all the planning but destiny will always have its final say at least 2020 has not been a bad year completely um, on the upside it is I managed to get a battery that's good because that's one thing that has been stressing me for a while and people kept on asking me how are you finding your studies and I kept on saying I don't even know how to answer this question <laughs> so at least this year God came through and there's also another segment that I'm thinking of introducing not actually thinking I want to implement I want to vlog more the journey because now I feel like all the videos I've told you guys how to get in how to do this how to do it but now I want to share some of the journey with you guys so that you can see some of the things that we go through as medical students the ups the lows the extreme lows, the extreme highs, and anything in between. So as soon as anything settles down and we are back in hospital, that's going to happen in August. So from August, the vlogs will come, and hopefully I'll get to share the journey with you guys more and more. But initially, let me just put this disclaimer out now. I feel like the first vlogs are not going to be the greatest because as a person, I'm very awkward and shy, so you can imagine trying to vlog in public. It's gonna be a mess, but we're gonna do it slowly but surely. We'll get there, but don't worry, the vlogs will not be invasive. It's not going to be a thing of you shooting inside of hospitals or shooting with patients and all those things, you know. They're going to be very clean. It's gonna be about me and you guys and not the other people, not like the patients and all that, we'll always make sure that we respect everyone's confidentiality and all those. So look out for those, becoming Dr. M vlogs dropping soon. But anyway, before we make these videos any longer, let me just end this video by saying I hope everyone is taking care of themselves at home and you are trying to keep up with the study. Just remember that, uh, Online learning shouldn't be this difficult concept. Just to make sure that you pace yourself to study regularly and you try to keep up with your activities and all that. Because you know what? Taking an online test with your books open is a myth. It shouldn't be done because you end up being so confused. I tried it once and it was not happening. I Two minutes in, I closed the books, put them to the side and I was like, Let's just answer this paper because, wow, paging through, trying to answer all the time, and it's also running, it's a mess. But anyway, hopefully, we'll all make it out of this pandemic safe. Don't forget to wear your mask. 
all the time to make sure that you protect yourself and protect your loved ones as well. And remember to always keep that distance. Social distancing is quite important. Until the next vlog, bye! Mwah! <laughs>